Road from this perspective. We are on the way up to the Buffalo River Wilderness area to check out some things and see what we can see today. Got our trusty Sasquatch tracker. <laughs> is that me or is that him? <laughs> I think that might be the bait. <laughs> today he's the bait. He's being a brat. Just wanted you guys to see a little bit of this from the road view and we'll pick it up in a minute. back to Arkansas Bigfoot everybody and we have came to the Buffalo River wildlife area gonna explore around a little bit today and look at some different things a lot of tourist activity in the height of summertime a lot of camping and <coughs> canoeing get a lot of stories and tales of some strange sightings and encounters and whoops and noises that happen all through the area especially at night time out here yeah but we're gonna look around and see what we can see one of the reasons we wanted to stop and show you this place is a conversation that Rachel was having with Ann Koo a while back about some of the ones that had migrated into our area his family is from here well his mate's family particularly, but I feel like he's got really strong connection here. And these bluffs, the way that you see them, the rock facings, that's what he was showing 
when he was explaining where they had come in from originally. And I sit here and I think, well, why in the world <laughs> would you leave it? Well, but, more than likely it's because of the huge increase in tourist traffic. Could be that. We're grateful to have them, but it's nice that they're kind of bringing us to uh, some of their own history. Beautiful place. Well, I think we are going to get off the beaten trail and go explore around some of the more remote areas. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. regular trails we definitely mean it I am seeing all kinds of bends and everything out through there footage is a little shaky. Of course, I'm going to show you the road we're on. This is a nice one. This is actually one of the better ones so far. I'm just trying to get away from the tourist and camper activity so we can get a little more seclusion out here. We brought Rocket with us today because he's used to Junior and Sobe and all of those guys coming up and messing around the backyard. He knows what they smell like and he just gets right on it. He ain't a bloodhound, but he ain't bad. And he finds it, he'll start wheezing and snorting and I find it curious that he's going right up to that great big X up ahead of you.
This is definitely a pretty area to explore out here. Oh yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. But we weren't joking around about Rocket. When he sits out in the backyard, whenever they come up close or come around, he starts whining and going crazy wanting to play with them or... Yeah. Come on, where's the baby? Now obviously we have not been up in here and I'm already picking up a foot trail running right up through that. We have got elk, black bear, deer, turkey, wild boar, just all kinds of wildlife up in this particular area. Plentiful food supply. That's what I was just getting ready to say. It got really still, didn't it? get through over there all right because I see a trail we can get out on so. but anyway we weren't expecting to find a whole lot just for what little bit of time we had to get out and poke around. We were working on a video for Rachel's channel most of the morning. Thought we'd try to hunt up some secluded area and 
get out here for just a little bit and look around. Looks like it's getting ready to pour down rain here in just a little bit. Well, we've always suggested to other people that are out looking around for any kind of sign to start down in the lower areas, the creek bottoms and things like that. And I think that's exactly where we're going to try to make our way down to. Now, what were you telling me just a minute ago about... Oh, uh, we've been kind of round and round the mulberry bush today, and uh, I felt on Koo saying he was trying to get us over here he has a brother within proximity of here maybe not where we're standing but it all feels like the same territory right down there I see movement kind of edge that way and his brother's name this one is March home it's uh, the way he shows is M-A-R-T-O-M-E And I have not met Martin. It just about has to be half Billy Goat. Yeah, I run pretty. up and down this. Okay. An interesting rock. <sighs> well, somebody's here. There's a wood knock. Just here, right in hillside, so I feel like he's somewhere right over here. He said, Come on, you're welcome. <laughs> he's so funny. Apparently, they all have the same sick humor. Fun humor. Well, they must be planning on logging some of this because they've got marker paint on several of these trees. Thank 
be your right. If he wants to tell you. I see an arch right over there. I don't I can see places, but I can't. There's a lot of brush between here and what I'm seeing. So quiet. Now there's another tap. It's going to take us a minute to work our way down to the bottom, so I'm going to turn the camera off for a moment. i try to record and walk and go down a slope at the same time. It's probably not going to be good. <laughs> well, we're part way down. She wanted to grab a couple rocks and... We were getting a lot of knocks and some whistles and some just various things and felt like we were hearing them chattering so I thought I'd just something it's like a low mumble mm -hmm. it's a I feel like I'm catching sight of him just here and there. He doesn't have a massive personal family. I think there's five in his from what I'm catching. There's others, but. And I keep seeing something moving over there, but. Hit those one more time. Just a uh, low mumble. Very low. Just mumble, mumble. I got two right here. Straight and clean. There are two seconds. Right between them, you may have to step over for just a couple more inches to your right. Now we were walking along the creek bottom. We came across this small print right here and turn around and right here you can see a great big wide print and the creases where the toes are up toward the front Bring him back here. Smell him. He knows what they are. What you got there, buddy? He might not be a bloodhound, but he knows what a Bigfoot is. Thought we'd give you one more parting shot as we're rolling out of here. Definitely warrants coming back. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.